Thank you very much. Um, we like Toronto. This is the second time we've come here within a short time. Uh, we love Canada uh, since 1988. This is the fourth time that we're having our Congress in, in Canada. And um, we, we've always enjoyed the hospitality and uh, the friendship that we've received here and the organizations that you have in your cities because it's been um, not only friendly but also very well organized. Why are we in this business and who's our main audience? It's not the platform, it's not the income paper, it's not the pixels on a screen. We are in the business of innovation and creation. Greg uh, Highwood, who's the CEO of Fairfax Media, was talking quite openly about the fact that they wouldn't be in print by the end of this decade. Now, when you think about the titles we're talking about, it sent a shiver down my spine. We're talking about the, the Melbourne Age, the Sydney Morning Herald, the Australian Financial Review. These are fantastic titles. And to ensure this happened, he said, we won't leave this to chance, we're going to cut circulation by 15% a year to ensure that we end up with just a digital product in this timescale. Despite all the doom and gloom you've been reading and hearing about print for many, many years, you know, all that death of newspapers stuff, newspapers and other print publications are indeed fighting back for readers, for advertisers, and for market share. And there's no doubt that we are in a tough battle. There are new disruptors coming at us every day. But we've heard enough about the combat and the carnage. That at this point is old news. Charles Darwin once said, it isn't the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligent. Rather, it's the one that's most adaptable to change. For newspapers and our distribution partners, the choice is exactly the same. We must adapt. We must be brave. We must be visionary to be relevant. It's up to us. <laughs> 